Max Verstappen added a secret clause to his contract without Christian Horner knowing about it, and now he can use it to leave Red Bull. All the excitement that Red Bull is stealing from Formula One on the track is being given to it off the track. The internal plotting within the Red Bull team has been the spice of the season, and the news just keeps on coming. The latest move could see Max Verstappen break his contract. Apparently, Verstappen would have modified his contract with Red Bull unilaterally, without the knowledge of Christian Horner and with the complicity of Helmut Marko. All to add a clause that allows him to leave before 2028, when the agreement ends, and it seems that he would already want to take advantage of it. Helmut Marko was Verstappen's accomplice behind Red Bull's back. Ever since the Christian Horner scandal broke, it became quite clear that Max Verstappen was not entirely at ease within the team. Since then, he has been linked to Mercedes. His father has even been seen chatting with Toto Wolff and Aston Martin, the means to remain linked to Honda. But the big question is how Verstappen could get out of a contract he signed after winning his first world championship and which ties him to Red Bull until 2028. Now we know the answer. Verstappen added behind Christian Horner's back a unilateral escape clause to that contract and now he could use it. Verstappen's way to do so was to use Helmut Marko, his mentor and protector inside Red Bull. The Austrian has the power to sign agreements on behalf of the team, and it seems that he signed that clause that was not in the original contract, and by which Verstappen can leave Red Bull if Marko also leaves. Thus, both would get to strengthen their position Marco would ensure that he cannot be fired from Red Bull unless they want Verstappen to leave behind. And the three-time champion ensures some command over the team's executive, being able to keep the mentor who gave him his big break in Formula One by his side. The big question now is how much Red Bull cares about Verstappen's tenure, as Horner started the process to purge Marco and even publicly opened the door to his champion. On the other hand, rumors say that Verstappen is also not too interested in staying at Red Bull beyond 2025 with the new engines. A whole soap opera that could end up leading to one of the biggest divorces in the history of Formula One, that of Red Bull and Max Verstappen. Red Bull's majority shareholders sent a spy to keep an eye on Horner. A member of the Ties family traveled to the Milton Keynes headquarters to assess every department of the team. Shalom Uvidia owns 51% of the team and is keen to increase his dominating role in the organization. The unending turmoil at Red Bull continues. Shalom Uvidia has sent a spy to keep an eye on the movements of Christian Horner and the rest of the team at the Milton Keynes headquarters. The majority shareholder of the company from the Thai branch has decided to check through one of his relatives, the shares in the factory and in all departments, probably to increase his role in the mandate. More pressure for Horner, who is once again under fire. These are not easy times for him, even less so after it became known that the employee who accused him has reported the case to the FIA Ethics Committee. Although there is no official confirmation on this, all rumors point to the fact that it is already in the hands of the International Federation. Be that as it may, the truth is that the saga continues, and now it has been learned through the German media build that Horner has been investigated within his own team, beyond the inquiries of external lawyers in view of the accusations of inappropriate behavior. According to this information, also picked up by the Express newspaper, Uvidia sent a spy to monitor the movements of Horner and the entire team. It is a member of his family who flew to the headquarters in Milton Keynes to check the situation firsthand and, above all, to evaluate each department of the factory. Although the team has not given any problems on the track, getting a double 1-2 in this start of the season, the truth is that the mood in the internal part is not exactly calm. And that could make Uvidia, as majority shareholder, want to take even more the reins of the company. 
It should be noted that the Thai side owns 51% of the team, and it is rumoured that their main interest at the moment is to increase their dominance. Until now, they had been kept in the background also by Dietrich Mateschitz, who was very important within the team. However, after his death, and with all the noise that is now around the team, it seems to have served as a wake-up call for them. In addition to the uncertain future of Max Verstappen, Helmut Marko and Adrian Newey after the Horner case, which could leave the team lame for the next few years. Ralph Schumacher sentences the Horner case. It does immense damage to Red Bull. The German considers it a mistake that no one talks about the employee who denounced him. He points out that a departure of Verstappen to Mercedes would make the championship more interesting, but acknowledges that not to win Ralf Schumacher has sentenced the Horner case. In his opinion, there are errors in the management of the conflict, since no one speaks, for example, of the employee who accused the team boss. A fact that, together with the whole situation that is hitting the team in recent weeks, does immense damage to Red Bull. All the noise continues around the Milton Keynes team, which continues to have a wide superiority over the rest on the track. Now, Michael Schumacher's brother has not hesitated to give his opinion about the latest moves of the team and its organization, and in his opinion, they are not taking the right role in the management of this crisis. Above all, because there is no longer any talk of sport, or at least, it wasn't until the day of the race in Bahrain that it was even discussed. I feel sorry for his family, but there was only one person who started all this. Him. And I can't accept that he keeps saying he doesn't want to talk about it, he assumed. For example, you don't hear anything about the employee, and that's not good. Nobody talks about her. And one thing is certain, as long as this goes on, it does immense damage to Red Bull, he has called the mistake. So for him, perhaps the best solution is the British driver's departure. So much so that he has invited him to resign to value some recent words of Horner himself, where he admitted that no one is more important than the team. In that case, he was referring to a possible departure of Max Verstappen, but for the German, it may also be applicable to his case. About the Dutchman, there are also many suspicions. In principle, he has a contract with Red Bull until 2028, but perhaps there is some clause that will release him earlier. And with everything that is happening after the investigation of Horner, there are certain rumours that point to a possible departure to Mercedes. Mercedes is too far away for him to win outright, he said. Toto Wolff seems resigned when he is interviewed these days. Somehow the Mercedes engineers have not yet understood the new car concept. But even if Max really is, as suspected, three-tenths faster than the rest, it wouldn't be enough to win at this point. But it would make everything more exciting. Of that there is no doubt, has analyzed to close his speech. Perez needs more from Red Bull. At the moment, the RB20 is not very comfortable for me. The Mexican acknowledges that he now understands much more how to maximize the performance of the car. He admits that in Bahrain, for example, he didn't have the right setup with the settings, and that's why he didn't attack Verstappen. Sergio Perez still sees work to be done on the RB20, especially when it comes to his car. The Mexican has admitted that he is still not 100% comfortable with the car, despite the good performance it is showing in the first races of the year. However, he also admitted that now he has more knowledge to maximize all the positive aspects of the car. The truth is that Perez has started the year behind his teammate, just like the rest of the grid. The level shown by Verstappen in each Grand Prix is difficult to emulate, but the Mexican has managed to add two second places in the first two races of the year. And that means that Red Bull has made a full 1-2 so far in 2024. This in itself is positive for the team, which is not going through its best moment. However, for Checo, there are still things to improve in his car. 
It is true that the evolution compared to last year is being great, but perhaps not enough to be able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Dutchman who is still at a very high level. At the moment, the car is not very comfortable for me, but I understand much more how to maximize performance. So that's something that's quite good for us. And in Bahrain, I didn't put it together, he acknowledged. I should have been on the front row. You're talking about a tenth or so, so you're sorting things out in the race. We didn't have the right setup with our setups, and we're not good at taking care of the tire. So my race was basically against Carlos Sainz, then Max. He specified about the first Grand Prix of the year. It is worth noting that, for example, in Saudi Arabia, he received a five-second penalty that while it did not cause him to lose position to Charles Leclerc, it did increase Verstappen's advantage. Everything caused an unsafe release with Fernando Alonso as the protagonist. The Mexican had not been given the order to go out, but he decided to do it because when he looked, he did not see anyone. It was his mistake, which he later acknowledged, and which came about because there was a lot of traffic in pit lane as the safety car was on track. Thus, he finished 13 seconds behind the Dutchman, which without the penalty would have been eight. A distance still large, but which shows the power of the RB20 and which can be checked with the distance with Ferrari.